Hold on, I gotta put my hood on. Hey, that's better. We think there's a gate. Is it locked? Yeah. The softball field's a no-go. We gotta go find somewhere with some good lighting real quick. We just finished a little run. Uh, let me check the stats on it real quick. Kind of backwards, but a uh, little 3.14 mile run. Nothing too crazy, just want to get the body moving. Had a long day. It's kind of like an active recovery today. So, I was on my phone and I got a memory from about a year ago. And I realized something. Just how skinny I was a year ago. It was really shocking to see pictures of myself. He does not look the same. <laughs> Completely different. Oh, oh Adam? there's Adams right there, yeah. baby. Save it up to the vlog, Adams. Hey man, you ought to know What you out doing this here, late? Bro. You on Tinder or something? That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Get out the road, man. There's cars. I welcome it. All right, be safe. See you, Adams. Bye. Bye. Thank you, baby. Back on the topic at hand. I was just thinking, why don't I make a video about some of the things that I did to put on weight and share it with you guys? I haven't done no science projects on any of the stuff I'm about to tell y'all, right? Yes, science! But I'm gonna just tell y'all some of the stuff that I did over the last year to get me where I'm at. May help you, may not. It's definitely helped me a lot, so. Hey, yes, it did. Just got back to the palace. We're gonna uh, finish this vlog up there. Number one, my morning routine. First off, as soon as I wake up, drink some water, drink a protein shake, eat some fruit, you know, try to get some calories in you as soon as you can. Drinking some water as soon as you wake up just gets the body going. Pro tip, putting chocolate milk in your protein shake results in more gains. Number two, rest. You have to give your muscles time to recover so they can grow. If you just continually keep breaking them down, they're never gonna recoup. Hence, no gains. Whether you're foam rolling, stretching, taking an ice bath, any of those things you're doing to help your muscles recover is always a good thing. Okay, so number three, supplements. I'm gonna tell y'all the stuff that I take and why I take it. Starting off number one, protein. So I drink two protein shakes a day, one as soon as I wake up and one after I work out at nighttime. When you're working out, you're actually slightly tearing your muscle fibers apart. So when you drink that protein, it breaks down into amino acids, it goes back in those muscle fibers, rebuilds them to be bigger and stronger. If you're not getting the amount of protein you need today, your muscle fibers are not going to rebuild to be bigger and stronger. You're actually more prone to injury and losing muscle because you're just breaking them down and not rebuilding them. Number two, creatine. Creatine guys, I take five grams a day. I mix it in with my pre-workout. Most pre-workouts come with creatine in them but not enough to get the full benefit of the supplement. So just for good measures, I mix my creatine in with my pre-workout so you're getting those extra short explosive bursts of energy like squatting, deadlifting, benching, etc. right? And overall better muscle development. Number three, pre-workout. That one sounds empty. <laughs> so as I just said with the creatine, I take a scoop before I work out. Pretty self-explanatory here. Take a pre-workout, get fired up, go to shore your workout. Number four, working out. Obviously, this is a big one, guys. As much as I would love to talk about working out all day, you just need to find something that motivates you to get in the gym and go do your thing, right? So, for me, I like hitting new maxes, hitting new PRs. My goal right now for lifting weights, right now for my maxes is a three-plate bench, four-plate squat, and a five-plate deadlift. So that would be 315, 405 and 495. So whether your motivation is looking in the mirror, you know, looking good for the ladies or whatever, you know, getting in the gym, hitting new maxes, or you just want to go home and eat a pint of Ben and Jerry's, you know, everybody has their reasons, but you just got to find what motivates you to keep you in the gym. That's all that it is. Just find something that motivates you, keeps you in the gym. That thing that puts you in a better mindset to just go be better every day, you got to find that. That's something that I can't tell you. You got to find that within yourself. All I'm saying is you just got to find something that drives you to get into the gym and do better every single day. Now moving on, how I like to work out, right? I do a pull-push-leg cycle. So what that means here is 
pull, back and buys. Pretty basic bro workout, right? Back and buys. The next day, push, chest, tries, shoulders. The next day, legs. Pretty self-explanatory. You know, mixing in abs and cardio throughout the week as needed also. Just get into the gym, find out what works for you, and stick to it. And that leads me to my fifth and final point, consistency. Consistency is key, guys. You can't just work out one day and expect all these results. It's going to take a lot of time and a lot of hard work to get where you want to be. So those are five things that I've done in the last year to help me gain weight. I hope this helps y'all. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. Number two, creatine. Yeah. <laughs>